last time on The Sinking City. I don't trust you or your gigantic bulging eyes. All right, you human praying okay. mantis. What are you guys doing? Don't go that way. That's the infested area. Oh, can it. Stop eating leeches. Hey guys, it's John and after a long hiatus, welcome back to the Sinking City, part four. When we last played, we were gonna meet up with Ebernote Blackwood, I believe. So we're gonna be starting up a new main quest, Nosedive. There's a picture of Evernote. Charming fella. Right, Fred has managed to set up a meeting for me with Ebernote Blackwood. I need to keep in mind that Ebernote will be expecting Fred instead of me. The meeting is to take place in Central Reed Heights and a flooded office on Sam Reed Street between Innsmouth Road and Oak Street. Back to this, huh? Oh, so two weeks ago when I last played, I placed the marker. That's using your noggin, John. No, don't do that. Wait, what I... Okay, I'm relearning things. Wow, we found a new infested area. We'll be avoiding that. Or can we? Uh, we might have to go through the infested area. <laughs> oh. Okay, looks like we gotta go through the infested area. You know what? Uh, I'm a little rusty, so... Might need to shake the rust off, kill a couple monsters. Where's your shotgun? Bring your shotgun out. Okay. Oh, 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 oh! Whoa, there's this big old thing here! Ow, ow! Okay. Never mind, let's just leave. Let's just go. Let's just leave. Let's leave. Let's go. What the? All right. Whew. Let's use the health kit. It didn't break through. Oh, it broke through. Sorry. I just didn't, I didn't expect. <laughs> I thought I was just safe on the other side there. Ooh. I, I had my back to it and I was like, I'm good, right? Of course I'm good. Is this it, by the way? Is this where I'm supposed to be? The flooded office? Ah! Oh, oh, it's a guy that, he has a KKK hood. Uh, so this is gonna be oh! What's wrong with me right now? Wow. Well, looks like we found somebody who's dead. The killer knew what he was doing. Clean strike and deep. Right, where's Ebernote though? What the hell? Uh, yeah, these guys are definitely the KKK. Well, that's fine. I didn't want ads on this video anyway. <laughs> Ooh. Note of warning. We have warned you, yet you still return. This is our final message. Go back underwater or die. Reed Heights is under our protection. The police won't help you. No one will. Yeah, no one's gonna help him, because he's dead. Why would you trash talk someone you just killed? Get out, leave now. Wait, was that message intended for me? Hmm. Someone's got it out for all of fishy kind. Oh. Are you following this already? Okay. Yeah, go up here. Oh. Another dead body. Let's ignore that for now. Okay, this way. Aha! Translation notes. CA-14, the one savior will seal the gates. N-E-X, M-M-C-I-I-I, which is 2053. Hundreds will fall while one succeeds. A-M-U, what is all this stuff? The will of the one will break the cycle, for there can only be one, one to pass through. Bunch of different numbers there. Big ol', big ol' code that I don't think I can Someone shot this hack just yet. Good. Thank you for enlightening us to the gravity of the situation. I wasn't clued in by all the dead bodies. What's your name again? Keep wanting to call you Charlie. Charlie, that is his name. Yeah, thanks, Charlie. Uh, this isn't Evernote. No, it's not. 
Once again, a, an astute observation. Nothing gets past this guy. Aren't you guys glad I'm back doing this series? Oh, he's holding something. To Professor Doe! We're back. We're back with Harriet Doe. I appreciate your quick response. It's unfortunate that meeting in person would implicate us both. Your hallucinations do indeed sound unusual, and the asylum hacks wouldn't be able to make any sense of it, but I can. Just recently, I've read about a certain phenomenon that contains commonalities to these visions. At a later date, I will inform you about my findings. Keep me updated about any new fits you experience, and please stay safe. It is absolutely paramount that you do. Kind regards, E.B. Evernote Blackwood. All right. Time to reconstruct the scene. Mr. Blackwood, we're under attack. We're all. Oh, Blackwood's got some Innsmouther friends. I surrender. Take me and let my people leave. Okay. So that's either the last one or the second one. Wow, these KKK guys just come ringing out of nowhere. They stormed the place. The Imperial wizard's gonna deal with you, Blackwood. Are they seriously? Wow, the Imperial wizard. Maybe they'll finally get it. The order ain't welcome in this part of town. Time to figure this out. So right here, they're taking Blackwood with them. So that's four. So we're like one. Maybe they'll finally get it. The order ain't welcome. That's two. Town. This is three. Mr. Blackwood, we're under attack. We're all... There we go. And then I the last them. one. Take me and let my people leave. Here we go. The Imperial Wizard's gonna deal with you, Blackwood. Let's watch it. Talk about it. No, that's wrong. Okay, I've gotten it wrong a couple times, but there's only so many combinations it could be. So I think... This, that's number one. Mr. Blackwood, we're under attack. Right? That's one. That's two. I surrender. Take me and let my people leave. So he says, let my people leave, but he's the only one leaving. So I think they actually just killed them anyway. Three and then four. Maybe they'll finally get it. The Imperial Wizard's gonna deal with you, Blackwood. That's it. Was okay. Attacked. Evernote was carried off while his escort's bodies were left as a warning. The thing that was tripping me up was I took Blackwood's surrender as like the segue into him leaving, but the thing was, it wanted to make a point that they killed them anyway. Okay, so these guys, these guys are bad news, obviously. All right. Uh, I don't know. I I, I honestly don't really care to figure this out. Okay, it's none of those. There we go. Fish faces not welcome. The meeting place in Reed Heights fell under a well-organized assault. Evernote Blackwood was taken prisoner and his associates were massacred. The attackers did not fear the police. And this obviously wasn't their first act. They wore hoods and used knives. Apparently, they are trying to keep the Innsmouthers away from the right side of tracks. So did these... Did these go together? No, they don't. Okay. Where does our casebook lead us? Let's see. All right, so we need to do some research. I'm guessing that we're going to, have to search the police archives because it says this obviously wasn't their first act, and that they don't they don't fear the police. So yeah, we'll just let's go this way. Maybe where should we go? I'm curious about this part of the map that's all dark. Can I go that way? Um. Oh, okay. Hello there. I don't think I can go this way. Cause I wanna go to the to the dark part, but maybe it's all just underwater. Yeah, I don't think I can actually go over there. There's a there's a is that a lighthouse? It got flooded. Dude, can we step off right in here? Or no, I don't think we can. Yeah, this seems like a dead end. Okay, found a new fast travel point, Reed Heights West. Yeah, 
Okay, I guess I can't travel through this dark part. That's too bad. Let's go to the police station and see if we can rummage up some info on these hoodlums. Get it? They were hoods. Hoodlums. All right. You know, just as an aside, four parts in, this game looks so much better during nighttime. During the daytime, everything looks kind of washed out. But at nighttime, it's got some really nice lighting, and the contrast is pretty cool. I don't know. It feels like it should be nighttime all the time. Every day is Halloween, you know what I'm saying? Let's uh, do some research. Violent crimes. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's see. Fish face is not welcome. Um, suspects. Read Heights. Let's go. The Orion Club. Okay, so this is a felony lynching. Suspects ZH Comstock. Bioshock Infinite. C. Borshoff. Unidentified accomplices confirmed victims. Eight males with Innsmouth Syndrome. Closed by public demand. Category homicide. Reed Heights. December 9th. Suspects apprehended at the Orion Club. St. Michael's Road. South of University Street. Central Advent. Ties to KKK confirmed. December 11th, case closed by public demand, suspects released. Okay, so we've got an address, the Orion Club. Hey there. Don't waste my time, newcomer. You know all about wasting time. Literally, every time I come here, your elbow's right there on the desk. Doesn't matter, noon, midnight, you are always here. You're wasting your own time, bucko. Buddy boy. Hmm, the Orion Gentleman's Club. This must be it. Let's go inside. Oh. Oh my god! Everywhere we go, there's a corpse! Oh, you think... That's what you think, huh? Ooh. Oh no, it's another one! Okay. Wasting a lot. What would you say? What's going on here? Oh, I also killed this thing, I think. Wait, what's going on? You okay? Down there? What? Hello? This is an active crime scene! You got the same hat as me! Hey, you gotta tell me what you're doing here? Wait, are you supposed? I don't think you're supposed to be in here. I think you're supposed to be out in the street and you're gonna leave. Looks like I'm not the only gumshoe here. Or won't budge. All right. That was that would have been kind of creepy if it I knew that it wasn't the AI not doing what it's supposed to do. Oh. Uh, let's see. Hang on. Let's uh let's craft a Molotov or two actually. Or maybe a bomb could be good. Don't ow. You got hurt in the meantime. Okay, got both of them. Yeah, I'm just running a little low on ammo. At the moment. Oh! Hello! Uh... <laughs> wow, look at this symbol. Hmm. It's the KKK. What? There's prison cells back there. You look like you've been run over, pal. What happened? What does it look like? <sighs> It was that damned prisoner. Eberno Blackwood? You mean Ebernote, the preacher? I don't know. We didn't exchange business cards. Ha ha ha. One of the order. Then I'm just a guard. I need a rest. And a stiff drink. You need to die. Who's in charge here? So is there anyone around here who knows what's going on? Go ask the wizard. Upstairs. <laughs> Is it... is it getting dark in here? Hey, you deserve this. You brought this on yourself when you joined the clan. 
Mayor, take you. <laughs> I got experience for that. Okay, before we go back there, let's look around here. Maybe there's something in the shelf. Yes. Can't carry any more springs. What? What are springs used to make? Oh, the foot traps. And I've got three of those. Oh, and these. Okay, we can make a couple of those. What do you suppose happened here? Did someone get burned? Someone totally did. Okay, we're gonna go back into the uh, jail cells. Evernote. Evernote, where'd you go? Hmm? Oh, this is an Evernote. No, it's not. Oh, you guys went upstairs, huh? Okay, I'll check that in a second. Let's do it right now, actually. Get up there. Let's see. Where'd you, where'd you guys go? This way. EOD is banned. They flew over here. This right here, is this what you wanted to show me? KKK orders, Evernote Blackwood is behind on his rent. There have been enough warnings. Send men to make an example of his operation. Make it look good for the newspapers. They are fish faces after all. See what he was up to while you're at it. If Blackwood's untrustworthy, I'm gosh darned Teddy Roosevelt. Actually, wait, okay. I don't think the, are the birds done? I don't think they are. No, 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 I'm still following them. They went this way. Oh, they went up. They went up again. Oh, here we go. Ow, for crying out loud. Uh, what? What the hell? No! No! That was really awkward. <laughs> that was a really awkward death. Hmm. The door won't budge. Oh, it's just this door. Okay. Let's, uh, continue on. So I'm almost back at the part where I died to those guys. Well, <laughs> guys, those monsters. Oh, wait, they're dead up here. Look at that, one of them's even pinned under a piece of furniture. Oh no, oh no. Oh, I spoke too soon. Yeah, good, come on. Come on, yeah. Let's do this. One shot to the back of the, the back. <laughs> I do need uh, to make some upgrades, actually. I'll do that in a second. The confession, I, Ebernote Blackwood, am innocent. My only goal is to save this city from its descent into madness and ensure the safety of Harriet Doe. Oh, really? And I got a nickel key. Look at these things. Someone's way too fond of causing pain. Hmm. I mean, remember the torture chamber we found? And the EOD? Make your funny Blackwood a confession. A real one. Write it down while you still got fingers. A confession? What did he need to confess? Well, bam! And that's at the, oh. Okay, you know what? Hang on. Got my bomb ready. <laughs> oh wait, you, you guys are still around. There we go. That ought to get him, right? Maybe I'll pop him a few times with this crap gun. You good? You weird looking thing? Look at that guy. <laughs> okay. Where are we now? Wow. So this has a lot of floors, actually. 
Yeah, and this is the main entrance right here. Let's keep going, see what else we can find. Oh my god. Mm, only one left. Wait, what is it, another one? Uh. Shovel these guys. Oh my god. No. Okay, you know what? There we go. There we go. Out of my way. God, there's a lot of these things. I mean, on the other hand, we're getting tons of resources. I'm just not able to use all of them. Okay. Pick more up. No, can't carry more. I'm full up on gunpowder. No way. Am I really? Oh my god. Okay, well, let's... Let's make some more of these, then. Uh, yeah. Let's do this. And that. I'm out of rags. In a previous video, somebody was asking me, like, why don't you, why don't you ever craft anything? I just usually don't show it in the video. Seven gunpowder. I feel like the game is kind of like, mm, you need some help, don't you? Why don't we just give you a seven gunpowder, even though we've never done that before? Even though we've never given you anything close to that before. Why don't you just take seven gunpowder? Okay, coils and traps. Well, I can't just make all of them. Okay. Hey, you can't just waltz in here. This club is off limits to non members, especially you damn newcomers. Have you uh, seen who out am I there? Kidding? The club is a blasted war zone. Okay. I've got wounded here, and we're all on edge. Who are you, anyway? Let's, let's talk. Reed, private investigator. I'm looking for one of your recent uh, guests. Right. You mean that bloody preacher from the fish market? This is all his fault. He was the one who summoned those beasts. Hmm. How did he summon them? Summon them? <laughs> You're kidding me. How did he pull that off? Pull that off? Do I look like some rotten fish-faced warlock to you? How should I know? He just did! And all in all that commotion, he escaped! <laughs> You're talking about Ebernote. <laughs> yes, Charlie. Was the preacher's name Ebernote by any chance? That's the one. We've been hunting down that slimy drock for weeks. Well, that seems like a lot of trouble to go to. And why bother? What's so special about him? He's a pain in the ass, is what? That oh. man doesn't have any respect for the way things are done around here. Well, that clears everything up. How did he wrong you? Oh, this should be good. So what did he do to cross you, exactly? Look around. This place is crawling with wild beasts. It's obvious he's up to no good. We'd never have known a thing about it if he wasn't behind in his damned rent. Oh, so you're the wizard. Right, right, right. Yeah, rent? <laughs> rent? Oh, don't tell me you jokers are landlords now. It's no joke. You know how it is. Reed Heights, Advent, Old Grove. Dangerous places without the right kind of protection. A racket, you mean? If I didn't know better, I'd say that sounded like a protection racket to me. Your words, not mine. Besides, our group's gotta get funding somehow. Robes and ammunition aren't cheap. Why do you need the robes? Ugh, where'd he go? Did anyone see where he went? I'd bet good money he went back to his hideout. I'll go after him. But I have to take care of my wounded men first. So, you gonna tell me where he is? It's your life, buddy. The scouts I sent after him never came back. Who are you? Who exactly are you? You're addressing the Imperial Wizard Gordon Mayer, newcomer. Show some damn respect. Don't worry, guys. I'll kill him after we're done talking. Show me a magic trick. Oh, a wizard. Like Houdini. Yeah, show me a magic trick. What the drock did you just say to me? Come on, Gord. Don't be shy. Pull a rabbit out of a hat, or maybe a hood would be more appropriate. That's enough out of your kisser, you little weasel! Ah! 
I just wanted to like hit him with a shovel a couple of times. They killed both of us. His little followers shotgunned both of us. Also, I didn't know that his followers were there. I thought it was just going to be him and I. And I was real excited about just... Wait. Excuse me? A clan member told me Evernote Blackwood has a hideout in Western Grimhaven Bay. Oh. Wait. No, no, no. No, I want to go back there. Why did it drop me off way over here? No! I want to kill all those guys. That's enough out of your kisser, you little weasel. Oh, was hoping to go pop, pop, pop. But I missed once. Well, he's dead now. Oh, a wounded. Not anymore. It's the KKK guys, all right. Bye-bye. Let's see, what else you got in here? You, you guys got nothing. Love Under the Hood, a romantic novel. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, somebody on the dev team was laughing their ass off writing this. Love Under the Hood. Oh, they crowdsourced that name for sure. So here's something that's a little weird. I'm maxed out on ammo. Despite dying twice, I guess this place is just crawling with stuff. I don't know, but at some point I just maxed out on ammo. I'm gonna spend some knowledge points now. I'm gonna get 15% more experience from all sources. That seems like a good investment. Also, a lot of people in the comments have been yelling at me to upgrade Vigor. So I think upgrading, yeah, more pistol rounds sounds good. I mean, we've died enough now. I think I'll get this uh, and vitality increase. Sure, plus 25%. Now, oh, look at that health bar. That health bar though. Let's take this, yeah. Oh, that's good. I like that. So, wait, what's this? The whitest whites, laundry tips for the discerning woman. Oh my God. Okay, so we're we supposed to go now. Let's see. The hideout's address, right. Evernote Blackwood's hideout. Deep Shore Road between Skipper Road and Marsh Avenue. That's right here. All right, so we'll fast travel our way there and uh, see if we can find it. Okay, I think this is it. Yep. Cutscene. Chromatic aberration, of course. Wish I could turn it off. You didn't even have your gun out. Wait, do you even have guns? Is any of this real? Not so smarmy now, are ya? Wait, what's happening? <laughs> Where are we going? The last thing you want to hear in battle is the click of an empty gun. Oh, I didn't even get to finish dramatically reading that. What, you okay? Why don't you take this, huh? There we go. Got rid of all of it. What's this? Deep Shore Soup Kitchen, all welcome. Yeah, I'll be passing on that soup, thanks. You want some, you want some soup with some fish that haven't even been like, <laughs> they haven't even had the scales removed yet? Crumpled, but clean. Someone's been here recently. Mm, how recently? Like, real recently? Smells like fish soup. What's there this? We go. Guess his next move is one of these. Wait, is something. Oh. Okay, it's the pointy guys. Wait, where is that? They all lead to one spot, and that spot is over here. Is it the Seven Oaks? It is over by the Seven Oaks, though. Huh. What's this? Huh. Somebody likes to lecture. Yeah, remind you of anyone? Uh, 
Smells a few days old. There's enough food in here to weather a siege. I guess if you just only eat fish <laughs> during the siege. Okay, let's follow these pointy guys. They like to stand around and point in the afterlife. Right here. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Look at the pig head. Look at the pig head, Charlie. Doesn't it make you feel better? Uh, let's see. Let's pull out the gun just in case. What? Blackwood Marsh Fish Canning Factory. Why is the dude kissing the fish? <laughs> They're in mouth. They're sympathizers. Throat slit. Clean. Throat slit. Clean. Oh. I guess we're piecing together a crime scene. Okay, let's let's go do that. I know that we had enough evidence to complete it, but let's go. Um, right here, this one. Here, into the sea. I never thought I'd be able to take this journey. Go on ahead, while I speak with the others. Harriet Doe, is that you, Harriet Doe? Is that Harriet Doe? <laughs> okay, wait. Is there only... Is there only one other one? Let's check it out. This one? Finish off the interlopers. They no longer matter. I'll see you all upstairs. Okay, no. There's another one. I'll see you all upstairs. Who's he talking to? Just two grunts? I like the term grunt. It implies that they're non-verbal. <laughs> uh, here we go. Here's the lecture. It is time. Time to strike down the false prophets of the order oh. and to take back Professor Doe. Time to figure this out. Okay, so maybe... Wait. No, no, no. Time. This is the last time one. To strike down Cause he says he's gonna talk to them upstairs. The order, and to take so, back probably Professor starts with this. Toe. Right? Here, into the sea. I never thought I'd be able to take this journey. Wait. Go on ahead, while no. I speak with the others. It starts down here. It goes one, two, three, I think. Finish off the interlopers. Right. They no longer matter. See you all upstairs. I'll see you all upstairs. Here, into Speak the with sea. the others. Uh, I, it might, I, I might have gotten it the other journey. way around. Go on ahead. Well, I it is time. Right. This is time definitely the conclusion, I think. The false prophets of the order and to take back Professor Doe. Okay, good. Blackwood's going after Harriet Doe. Took a small army with him. Just need to figure out where he went. Yeah, that'd be good. If we could figure that out. Key evidence collected. Okay. I need to figure out where he went. Well, are we at a dead end here? Or? Oh my god. I do not care. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, Oh, is it? <laughs> Maybe it's this combination. Just brute force it. Give me the conclusions. EOD needs Harriet. The order is playing something dangerous, and Harriet is instrumental to their plans. All right. Let's see. I know some people might not like this, but too bad. Deep dive. Evernote took his men into the sea. Only one spot on the map is on the coast. The one on Western Salvation Harbor at the end of Pembroke Lane. That's exactly where I pointed out. Blackwood has a plan. Yes, he does. Thank you, Charlie. Blackwood wants to save the city from madness, or so he says in Harry Doe, it's essential to his plan. Right. Isn't that... Isn't that exactly what we have here? Wait, is it EOD or is it Blackwood? I guess is the... Oh, wait. Oh, okay. So that unlocks that in the case book. Let's see, at the end of Pembroke Lane... Here we go, Pembroke. Oh, okay. Oh, so that's like, that's like here. Man, you know what really cracks me up? 
Some people in the comments claiming that this is a, quote, walking simulator. Oof. Like, I guess just adventure games don't exist anymore in the public consciousness. And that's why I think uh, 2019 gamer nerds are just the worst. That's not the only reason why, but this is not a walking simulator. I'll, I'll say it until I'm blue in the face. Dear Esther is a walking simulator. The game from the Chinese room. Or the experience, I guess. Uh, you could argue that Gone Home is a walking simulator. But if there are actual gameplay elements, and they can be as simple as uh, solving puzzles, um, you know, dialogue trees, that's gameplay, like it or not. It doesn't have to be just like, Whoa, shoot, 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 for it to be gameplay. Which by the way, there is combat in this game. There's crafting, there's multiple guns. There's firefights you have to get out of. Maybe the combat's a little clunky, but it doesn't mean that it's a fucking walking simulator. I'll tell you what though, nothing beats uh, when I was playing Evil Within 2 and I saw someone call Evil Within 2 a walking simulator. Oh boy, I guess if it's not Doom 2016 or you know, fucking Wolfenstein New Colossus, then it's a walking sim to some people. What the fuck is this? Get me out of here. I don't need any loot anyway. Ow! Did you just take a swipe at me? Oh, that's it. You know what? You guys suck. <laughs> You're making me mad. So you die. You're making me mad, so you die. Yeah. What a walking sim. I just threw out several Molotov cocktails. <laughs> and some bombs. There was nothing in this trash can. That was a fight of principle. Anyway. I don't know. I'll, I'll, honestly, uh, I don't really trust the opinions of anyone who exclusively plays AAA games. And this is an indie game. Uh, some people just don't really know. They don't get indie games, I guess. They don't understand that they're not going to play like AAA games. They're not going to have uh, the same quality control that a AAA game has. Well, this isn't really an indie game. It's more like a triple B game, which is a term that's used for like games that are like kind of like triple A. They can mimic a triple A game, triple A experience. What, what the hell is that? But they don't have the budget. Like if you compare the budget of this game to say Witcher 3, which is technically a triple B game, I believe. Um, you know, not all budgets are created equal, obviously. Witcher 3 had like a budget of like 80 million dollars or something like that. I mean, I'd be surprised if this had a tenth of that. Home shore marina. Oh, we're going. Oh, we're diving. Oh, great. Okay, here we go. Anyway, that's my little rant. Is this game perfect? No, far from it. Does it have glaring flaws? Yes. But. I'm just tired of seeing bad criticisms for it, I guess. Like, you can not like whatever you want and like whatever you want when it comes to entertainment, but at least have good reasons for it. Don't do this shitty, like, ah, that's a walking sim, just because it's not a shooty shoot game. That's just, that's just a bad opinion. People always defend their opinions. Like, well, that's my opinion. Like, it's a it's a shield for any counter arguments. Well, it's my opinion, so you can't say shit. Yeah, well, there's such thing as a bad opinion. If you just if you just say something. Okay, hang on. I gotta repair myself. I think. 
You can hold down E to repair your suit. I'm not really sure how he's doing it, but I won't question it. Dude, there's that gigantic beta fish again. Kill it! Slay the monster! Come here, come here. The thing's so cool looking. I want to fight it. I don't think we can hit it. I love that thing though. It's so neat. Look at it. Oh no, oh, staring at it is affecting my sanity, so maybe we shouldn't do that. Okay, let's follow the lights. Bye! Lovecraftian thing. Oh no, we got this guy again. He's gotta turn around. Ah, I see you! I see you here! Ow. Maybe... I hit you. Okay. Go. Wait, can you not get me up here? Oh, I don't know. Keep going, buddy. Ow. I don't really like these hydrothermal vents. They're kind of just progress halting and not much else. Okay, here, we made it. I'm not really a fan of the underwater segments as a whole. I feel like it just kind of slows the pacing to a crawl a little too much. But now we're going to find out what Evernote Blackwood's up to in his underwater lair. <laughs> okay. Cool. Oh, I think there was something on the ground. I've seen Swiss cheese with fewer holes. How many dead bodies have we come across in this game? Like a lot, right? I love it when we go into a building, when we go into like a new door for a quest and there's just a dead body right there. Oh, oh, this guy's got a gun. Oh, I killed him with the crap pistol. Wait, hmm. Wait, let's see if we can stealth. Cling to the wall. He won't see us against the wall. Oh God. Well, so much for that. Anyone else? <laughs> you guys are so funny. Oh, hi. Oh, he actually shot me. I was a little hesitant. Oh, it's a prisoner. They have a prisoner here. We gotta come back for him. Ugh, these look like they'll hatch soon. That doesn't do anything. Okay. Did you hear that? <laughs> oh, dumbass. Why would you come at me like that, huh? Anybody down here? I'm guessing it's just more prisoners. And a dead end. Great. Evernote. Time to pay the piper. The piper's me. I'm the piper. He's got to pay me. In case that wasn't clear. I know you, don't I? Mr. Reed from the fish market had business with that harlot Anna. Why on earth are you here? Evernote, I presume. Mr. Blackwood, guess I finally caught up to you. You are a follower of my work? No. Oh, sorry, no. Evernote. My heart belongs to another. Fred from the fish market said you could tell me where the professor is. I see. <laughs> he didn't mention that I was about to wage war on the EOD then. Ah. Oh. No, I guess not. Harriet Doe. Harriet Doe. I know you were looking for her. Where is she? Why do you need to find her? She has a purpose. A purpose that must be fulfilled. A purpose that you have no part in. <laughs> I have questions for her. I have questions that I need her to answer. Questions? You're like a dog digging for a bone. You have 
no concept of the greater picture. The professor is the one. She is too important to be bothered by your questions. She is all that remains of the few. Listen to me. Harriet must live. We are on the cusp of a great tragedy, and only she can avert it. She is one of the chosen. I agree she needs to live. Gifted with visions by divine providence. It is her fate to either save us or doom us all. I don't follow. You talk about tragedy and doom. What tragedy? What doom? From beneath the city. Oh, but I forget. You would know. The frescoes here show the truth. I lost days studying them long ago. I once served the sea myself, Mr. Reed, but I cannot do so any longer. They have to be stopped. Harriet is the key. How many more specific info? I have no time for frescoes. I must go. I'm not really sure what Am I making a decision here? Okay. Why don't you save us both a lot of time and trouble and give me the short, snappy version? There is a cosmic cycle. At the end of each turn... I'm sorry. My time is too short. Please, find Harriet. You must make sure she lives. Oh, yeah. Okay, fine, let's go. In that case, I suppose I better get a move on. Good luck, Mr. Reed. You must not fail. I won't. Don't worry. I'm a badass. Do you see how I handled your goons? Ow, oh, who killed all these people? Wasn't me. What's going on here? Okay. I guess we're moving on to the deep dank cave. What's this? Boom! Hmm? It's a prison. I've seen these symbols before, but but where? Uh, first fresco. Since dark eons before the age of man, Kithaganar lies beneath the ground. In that eldritch prison rests the dreamer's hidden daughter, bound to never leave. The dreamer. I like that name for him. Okay, well, uh, who do we have to kill? Just let me know, I'll shoot him. Bro, I'll, I'll shoot anything that moves. You gotta be careful not to kill Harriet. Another piece of the puzzle. It looks like a wheel, something, something repeating maybe. Like the seasons. Some kind of cycle. Ah, a cosmic cycle. But there are those who would free the daughter if the dreamer's seed would only pass to her. Each turn of the cycle, those carrying the seed are drawn to Cathaganar. We'll just call him C. <laughs> how about that? Driven by hideous visions. How do we solve this one? Mmm. <laughs> we just press Q and walk up to it. Okay, third fresco, right? Here it is. A seal. I'm sure I've seen these symbols before. Where? Dream? The seal of C will open the way. Many will try and perish. When the stars are right and the dreamer stirs in his house, one will succeed. The daughter shall be freed, and from her swollen womb, the dreamer shall spawn once more. Let's see. Okay, here we go. This is it. What's up, guys? Howdy, hey! I'm here to stop all this. Whoop, bam! Hmm. Where you at, guys? Guys? <laughs> Hello? Oh! Professor! Professor Doe, are you alright? Alright? Uh, I, I am. Why not? Sorry, who are you? You're out of sorts. I'm Charles Reed, private detective. 
I've come here for some answers. Here, you'll find many answers. Everything is an answer here. And everything is in my hands now. Do you understand? There is a cycle. This has all happened before. Her voice sounds she familiar. She wants to be free, but she must not be, or else it all ends. Tell me about the cycle. What is this about a cycle? It always. She starts talking about her spin class. Flood. Then the threat rises with the sea. The sea is all that divides our world from the one below. When the sea rises, the gates, the gates neither open nor closed, only waiting. I'm gonna need better info than this. What gates? What gates? Katiganar. Oh, the gates are not closed. The gates are not open. But they shall be one or the other by the cycle's end. What are you talking about? But the seal, they close the gates. And close them forevermore. Are you feeling all right? <laughs> Professor Doe, you're not making sense. We need to get out of here. Now. I can't leave with you. I need to be alone. Alone. You don't understand. I play a part in it all. But only the chosen few may do that. Those led by the visions. I have had them for so long. I have visions too. I, I have visions too. That's what brought me to Oakmont. And I guess what brings me to you now. Oh, but that has, that has to be, that has to be different. It, it has to be. I've been through so much. It has to be different. Uh, I don't understand. Th there can only be one of us. Give me a moment. I need a moment to think it over. Okay. I will stay here with my seal. What am I thinking over right now? I guess I'm using my mind palace clues. One savior, right. Another vision. The prophecy. You already planned the kidnapping. Only one may survive. The prophecy says there will be many chosen, but only one savior. Those that fail will die. The prophecy says there will be many chosen, but only one savior. The others will try and fail. We'll go with the we'll go with that one for now. Harriet might be one of the chosen. Okay, that doesn't really help us that much. I might be one of the chosen. The visions lead the chosen led the chosen to the city, to their destiny. They led me here too. Am I part of the prophecy? I must save Harriet. Harriet Doe and I are both chosen, and if the prophecy is true, only one of us can succeed. But damn the risks, she has suffered enough already. I must save her. Okay, so what if we change this to only one may survive? I must kill Harriet Doe. <laughs> Harriet Doe and I are both chosen. Both of us are plagued by these nightmarish visions. Both destined to seal the evil under the city. Yet the prophecy says only one of us may live. Too much is at stake to take any risks. I think it's more interesting if we save Harriet. So I think I'm gonna go with that. All right, listen up, Harriet. I thought about it, given it some good thought, and uh, I've decided you could live. I know what we should do. Yes. I will be the one who remains. No, we need to leave. We need to get out of here. Uh, but my work isn't finished. My mission. Good luck finishing it if you're dead. We need to get out of here, Harriet. We just need to get to the surface. Fine. Fine. Wait, how's she gonna we get out of here? Above ground, but we need to take the seal with us. The seal is the key to everything. Okay, yeah, but do you have a suit? Do you have a diving suit? Wait, is this the seal right here? I guess I'll take it. Evernote looks like that didn't surprise him that that happened. Are we in the asylum?
<laughs> it's Colonel Mustard. He's back. Where are we, really? Are we back at the inn? Oh no, we actually are at the asylum. And he's actually here. What happened? <laughs> what happened? I woke up at the hospital to discover my old acquaintance, Johannes Vanderberg, staring me down. The seal of Cathiganar is missing, and after what I learned in the Temple of Dagon, I cannot proceed without it. I need to find it. Thanks, Charlie. Thanks for the synopsis. So we're going to talk to uh, old JDB. New case, silence is golden. We'll get to that in a second. Hi. What are you doing here, Johannes? You have quite a knack for asking the wrong questions, Mr. Reed. I'm here because I heard you were at meeting. You don't seem the frail sword, so my interest was piqued. How did I get here? Last I remember, uh, I was underwater. Consider yourself lucky. That's not the best place to be unconscious. I'd wager you'd had a drink too many were it not for the scratches. What exactly were you doing underwater? None of your business. I was at a temple. There was this ancient temple down there. It was, it was wrong, Johannes. A horror show. It's all right, I believe you. I won't ask you to relive it just yet. Uh, where is Harriet? Where are my belongings? What happened to my things? Wait. I need to find them. Mr. Reed, do you take me for a hospital employee? I... Uh, I guess not. Apologies. Although, this wouldn't happen to be about a certain seal, would it? How do you know about it? Mr. Reed, there are plenty of things you do not yet know. Luckily, I want you to succeed. Perhaps it has been misplaced. You may wish to return to where you were found. If I were you, I'd inquire with the staff as to where that was. Love your hands. Be straight with me. How do you know about the seal? What can I say? Acquiring information is something of a hobby of mine. Wasn't that? How you and I first met? In any event, when you've recovered the seal, come find me at my theater. I will have a plan of action ready. Your theater? Here's the address. Farewell. Ah, uh, it all makes sense. You're a theater kid. Wait, what happened? <gasps> so you guys have probably figured it out by now. Johannes is not a regular dude. Are you still? Oh, my stomach. I ain't never eaten leeches ever again, no sir. My god. The madness has got to stop. Stop eating leeches! What the hell's the matter with you? We've been over this. You keep eating them, and every time you eat them, you're like, this is the last time. I swear. This is the last time. Oh, okay, all my things are with me. I don't know what he was freaking out about. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look at the casebook. Deal with the devil, let's see. The seal is missing. The seal of uh, Cthiganar is missing. Right, need to find it. Oh, we gotta talk to the hospital staff. We also got the silence is golden uh, side quest. A note from Joy. <gasps> Something horrible has happened. I must speak with you. Meet me at the Oakmont Library. Oh, I'm doing this all wrong. Something horrible has happened. I must speak with you. Meet me at the Oakmont Library. Please hurry. I need your help. Desperately. Sure. Because she has her mouth sewn shut. It's that girl. And we found the ceremonial dagger. You guys you guys remember that? We found the ceremon ceremonial dagger. Why is that hard to say? Maybe because it's like four in the morning. Let's uh let's talk with the staff though while we're here. Who brought me? I here? believe I was rescued by a stranger. Do you know who it was? Ah, oh, let's see. You're Reed, right? Well, that's funny. It was a regular of ours. A regular? Yeah, his name is Billy Drunnan. Well, let's just say he enjoys a drink a bit too much. Seen a lot of him these past few months. Barrel fever, huh? Uh, I tell you, his file is just about bursting at the seams. The things he comes out with in therapy. 
you can't. Uh, uh, can I have my things back, please? Doctor oh, patient. Of course. Confidentiality. There you go. Is this all you have? I'm uh, missing a large, round object. Billy took I, it. I don't recall it. Sorry. At least you're leaving here with your life. <laughs> That's something. Bye, bye. Oh, that was just dripping with. Wait. I can't carry any more of my ammo. That was really weird. He like gave me a bunch of my ammo, but I already had all of it ready. All right, let's take a look. Billy Drunnen. Okay, he's apparently an alcoholic and has undergone therapy many times. Great, but let's do this one. This one is really piquing my interest. Don't worry, Joy. I'm coming for you. It's like Resident Evil 4. That's what Leon says. He's like, don't worry, Ashley, I'm coming for you. You guys get the joke, whatever. I got your letter. So you wanted to see me, Joy? Don't tell or die, promise. I won't tell anyone. Okay, okay, you have my word. Don't worry. Her, in my apartment, again. Don't know what to do, I'm scared, help. What do you mean? Did someone break in? Were they threatening you? Yes! Her! Again! What did she want? Keep my mouth shut! Who is she? You said it was a woman, right? Yes. Do you know her? Yes! Then who is she? What does she look like? Won't tell. Can't! Oh, come on. Just give me something. Anything I can work with. No! No words, please. Could be a curse or something. I'll help you. Don't worry. I'll help if I can. So, where do you live? Here's address. Take keys. Thank you. I got this, Joy. Everything will be all right. Be Whoa. careful and keep silent. That's like the closest he's ever come to smiling. Bye, Joy. So, you guys think this is a trap, by any chance? Now, a couple things. So, if you look at the lore tab, right? I did find a ceremonial dagger, right? And we found that a couple episodes ago by complete accident, where there was a doll that looked exactly like her with posters on the wall saying she was a former singer. So I'm very interested in that, but also it was pointed out to me in the comments. Uh, let's see, completed cases. There was a reference to Joy here, the greasy letter we found in the Rest in Peace side quest where we found the bodies missing from the cemetery, the ones that were dug up. So, encloses a map of the cemetery with the graves I'm interested in. Be careful, no one can see you digging up corpses. There will be a nameless grave. Please be especially careful with it. I recommend you to read Secrets Beyond the Veil before you touch that coffin. Now, I did speculate when I saw that who J.H. could be, and people in the comments theorized it could be Joy Hayden. This woman. But why would she be ordering some thugs to dig up some graves for her? Super weird, Joy. I don't know. I feel like there's more to this, uh story then you might think at first western shells so corner of liberty road and hawking lane there's hawking lane liberty road got it right there all right let's get a move on so you guys know earlier how i had that rant about how this isn't a walking simulator i, I also saw another comment that i thought was really funny because it was so like such a poor interpretation of the events uh, they said that uh, this game might as well be a movie. It's just a bunch of cutscenes. How many cutscenes have we had in this game? Five? Over the course of like, well, seven to eight on video hours, right? But really I've been playing like, you know, 12, 14 hours maybe. I just think it's so funny. It's like, are you even, that's not, that's not even a fair comparison. Is this it? Joyce apartment, this is it. 
It's like not fair at all. And there's one thing I'm interested in is being fair when assessing games, at least on my channel. I do like to make a lot of unfair remarks just to make myself laugh, but if I'm being serious, I, I try to be fair. Okay, hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, here we are. What's up? Okay. I just wasn't expecting it, that's all. Got one. Come on up, come on up. Come on up, let's go. Got one of them. Oh, there's one up here too. I wish I could move out from there. Am I out? I'm out. Uh, okay, this should do it. Yeah. Anyone else? Anyone else? Huh? 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 Where you at? Where your boyfriend at? <laughs> he hefty. He coming back? Where your boyfriend at? Uh, Mad TV. It was like uh. You might not, you might not have any idea what I'm talking about if you're not American or if you're under the age of 25. But uh, it was a sketch show, very similar to uh, Saturday Night Live. Someone has real issues. We're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. A message written in blood. Oakmont keeps its mouth shut, little girl. This is my second visit and the final warning. If you can't be silent even when your mouth is sewn shut, I'll make a pair of shoes from your skin, like I made a toy from your doggy. Stop talking too much. Silence is golden. It's the name of the quest. I see. So we got this. Christ almighty. Is that a dog's skin? Huh. Still wet. Oh, we're killing whoever did this. What the? All right, we okay? We okay? Anything else we need to look at here? Christ Almighty! Okay. Is that a no, we're dog good. Skin? We're good. I don't need to see the. Ah, uh, it's still wet. I don't need to see this anymore. Pretty sure that's not a good sign. <laughs> Is that a pun? Ugh. Someone's a real pro with a needle. Uh, he's got to do the uh, before everything he says. Solo concert canceled. Canceled. But she was good enough to put on a show. Yes, life took a real turn for you, huh, Joy? Okay, now's not the time <laughs> for your little cracks, buddy. Uh, what's this? Huh. It's an award. Joy won this in a singing contest? Oh, it's a little songbird. Wait, what's the award? Uh, golden voice. Okay, got it. A cozy place for a favorite pet, huh? I like Joy. I don't care if she did order those bodies dug up. They were dead anyway. Letter from Joy's parents. My dear Joy, we know how much music meant to you, but losing your voice is not the end of the world. It's painful to see that you cannot sing anymore, but maybe all this is for a greater good. No one knows what would have happened if you didn't stop gossiping. <laughs> There's good news, though. We found a nice job for you in a library. You can start when you're ready. Love, Mom and Dad. Who are your... Oh, Mom and Dad. Maybe one of their initials is J.H. What's this? Damn it. This thing is melted. Ah, there's no way we'll get any pictures out of this. So this is the camera. Right, 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 right. Um, hang on. Can I look in there? It looks like there's an easel. Oh, oops. Whatever. Kay, it's her. It's really her. Proof. Hope she doesn't hear me take the phone. Okay, so somebody was taking a picture in there. Come on. Come to Granny, puppy dear. Is that a man doing the voice acting? Click a visitor. Who's there? Okay, so that happened after the camera. As Stitch comes 
out, a stitch goes in, a nip of flesh, a tuck of skin. You'll be such a lovely dolly. So, okay. how did it play out? I don't want to know, but it's one, two, on. Come. A stitch three, it's her. four. It's really her. That's it. Kick, kick. Cause that's after he took the picture. Who's there? Someone visited Joy's place, killed her dog, and mm. sewed it into this thing. A warning for her, I guess. And the neighbor just got in the way. A neighbor, huh? An uninvited guest. Kind of a smart aleck title, don't you think? A trespasser killed Joy's dog. The neighbor witnessed it all. We gotta talk to the neighbor. Neighbor! Door won't budge. Wait. Oh, you're gonna take me to the key? I want the key. Give me that key. Okay, let's see. You went in here. Okay. What, in here? It's in the basement. I swear to God, if we go to that hidden wall, we, we're, we are. Wait. Oh. We good, we good, we good. Whoa, look at this. This looks cool. Low sanity. Okay, so we got the key. Now we can break into their apartment. Good. You doing all right, buddy? Let's see. Let's heal up. Actually, uh, let's also craft some revolver bullets. There we go. <laughs> I shouldn't be able to do that. That shouldn't be a thing that I can do. Hello? Someone's a big fan of fairy tales. The kind without a happily ever after. Hmm. He's got our poster in here. Uh, this looks cool. Can I look at this? I haven't seen that. Oh, he's dead. Of no course he is. No any wounds, but he looks like he's seen the devil himself. Interesting. Huh. A tired diary. I can scarcely believe I live right next door to Joy Hayden herself. You know how much I do love her songs, Kay. Just this morning I saw her, and it's true. Her mouth really is sewn shut. The rumors about the end of her career were not just rumors. Granny Weaver truly silenced her. At last, I have a chance to see Granny Weaver with my own eyes, or maybe even take a photo. <laughs> if she doesn't appear to check up on Joy, I'll follow another clue and find out where the witch lives. My hunch is that Arthur Cox discovered the whereabouts of Granny Weaver's lair in his inquiries into Oakmont's peculiar history. He must have written about it somewhere. Okay, so do we go to the paper? Do we go to the paper? Check it out. Joy Hayden. Oh. Oh, so he like, he sought out this apartment because it was right next door to her. Kind of weird, you weirdo. Well, maybe it's a good thing you're dead. I'm thinking we might go to the newspaper. If we're looking for an article that somebody's written. But then again, it might be City Hall that we have to go to. I'm not really sure. Journalist? Probably period. So probably the period would be 19th century articles and interviews. Oh, come on. Journalist, 19th century articles and interviews. Commoners, celebrities, officials. I took a look around your apartment, Joy. It's not good. Your neighbor's dead and let's just say it was not natural causes. Dude? Eagle and Tane. What? What do we do? Tell me about Granny Weaver. You're keeping things from me, Joy. Now come on. <laughs> I need to what? know what I'm dealing with. <laughs> that tone. No, we'll make it worse. Granny Weaver, just tell me about her. Can't say. Can't. <sighs> she doesn't want you to help me. Why? My fault. Don't be angry. So sorry. Joy. 
sorry. Hey. So sorry. Charlie! Get a hold of yourself. I'll handle this. Look, calm down. I'm not going to leave you on your own. If you won't talk, I'll just have to work this out myself. Okay? Vera. Yes. Thank you. Sorry to sound like a nice Bye, guy, Joy. Charlie. <laughs> You're not working with me here. All right, let's search the library archive. Local. Section history. Author? Oh my god. The legend of Granny Weaver grew from the story of Anne Osborne, one of the Salem witches who escaped to Oakmont, later becoming a weaver by trade. Her granddaughters asked to be told about witchcraft. Anne agreed, but swore them to secrecy. Soon thereafter, two girls were found in the Oakmont sewers, dead with their mouths delicately sewn shut. Wow, one trick pony over here, am I right? Anne Osborne was never seen again. Many in Oakmont believe her spirit stalks those who expose the town's secrets. Legend holds Granny Weaver can be banished for up to 100 years, but she always comes back. Supposedly, Granny Weaver, <laughs> supposedly, Granny Weaver lived on Beacon Street between Windhalf Avenue and Century Avenue, Western Old Grove. Wow, what a great thing to just plug at the back of the article. All right, so Old Grove, huh? It's been a while since we've been there. Beacon Street between one half and century, Beacon Street. Where is that, right here? Oh, it's right by a fast travel. How lucky for us. What are you doing here? Okay, let's go. I'm not gonna tell her about her dog. I'm just gonna refuse to acknowledge it. That's the thing. I can see all these dead bodies, you know. Humans, eh, they were probably an asshole anyway. The dog, though, you know that the dog was too precious for this world. You know he was a good boy and deserves good boy pets. So that's why I'm sad about the dog dying. Watch yourself. Watch yourself? Excuse you? Who do you think you're talking to? Don't worry, buddy. I'm not going to shoot you. You didn't say anything rude to me. I like how the cops just like, whatever. All right. Where is this place? What did you, did you just say knock it off to me? Did you just say knock it off to me? I already killed one person today. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't be. Shouldn't be too crazy. With the shooting of the innocents. Alright, it's somewhere on this street. But I'm not sure which house. It just said it was on Beacon Street, which I'm on Beacon Street right now. Ooh, this one's locked up. What's this? Granny Weaver's house. Let me in. Don't look, police officer. Ooh, Granny Weaver's house. Looking super evil. Let's set this snake free. Snake's not moving. How is the snake still alive? Oh, this thing's still alive. <laughs> that wasn't to kill it, by the way. That was to set it free. Uh, all right, let's look around. Wow, that's a creepy little picture right there. What you got? Uh, ooh, hidden door. Right here, I found it. I found your secrets, Granny Weaver. What's this? Ah, damn thing just bit me. It did? Well, don't touch it. On the blade. Malleus Maleficarum. Every witch has her own sign. Hmm. Which represents her contract with the devil. If you find that sign in her lair, you'll be able to make her appear in front of you whether she wants to or not. You'll need two mirrors. Place them opposite each other so both the sign and its reflection can be seen in either. The witch will try to destroy you with her devilry. Did I just hear... Hang on. What was that I just heard? Asshole. Oh, wait, what was that? You, you dick bag, come on. Yeah, you got lucky, punk. Okay. Should have killed you first thing. All right, well, uh, yeah. 
I guess we go upstairs or downstairs. Uh, let's go upstairs. Let's see. We good on ammo and stuff. Yeah, we're good. This looks a lot like... Oh my god. Looks a lot like Ape Man's uh, place. Not fully grown. Teenager, maybe. Uh, maybe a girl. Hard to tell. Well, let's check your mind's eye. Huh? Oh, dream catchers. Okay. Uh, not fully grown. Teenager. Right, maybe. what about this? Uh, maybe a girl. Hard Here we go. Tell. Happy birthday, Everline. This door is for you to keep all the secrets in your heart. Alright. Oops. Wanted to get out of there because I was losing sanity. Left and right. Got some more gunpowder and shell casings. The door won't budge. Now just freaking smash it. Ah. Anything else in here? Let's see. Here's some mirrors. Don't we need mirrors? <laughs> Granny Weaver likes to have paintings of creepy old ladies in her home. When I'm an old man, I'm gonna have paintings all around my house of old men. Oh, this looks like a ritual place for sure. Okay. I don't know. Ooh, two first aid kits. Don't mind if I do. Oh wait, there's another level. There's a, a double basement, if you will. What the hell? Granny Weaver was going crazy with all the rituals. Uh, there's good art, bad art, and then stuff which makes your skin crawl. Yeah, this is bad art. Just to clarify which one this is. Hand grenade antipsychotics. Wow. Looks like a shot took it out. Ah, oh, here we go. Enough for a trench full of krauts. Hmm. Okay, so those are all the... Yeah, here we go. Those are all the shell casings. Go. Who are you? <laughs> Who dares call me? Rock! This one is heavy! Hmm. Keep shooting! Kill her! Jack and Tane, kill her! Let's figure out what happened here. So, probably this one. Two, three, four. Who dares keep shooting? Right. Kill her. Jack and Tane, kill her. Tane. Granny Weaver. Didn't Joy mention? They Tane? called her up. Used two mirrors to do it. Then, oh, looks like it got violent. Confrontation in the house. Okay. Two mirrors were used to summon Granny Weaver. A struggle ensued. They may be how they banished the, her spirit. I might be able to replicate the ceremony, but I'll need to find a couple mirrors. There must be more in this accursed house. Oh, there's one like right <laughs> up the stairs. Hang on, is there one in here? I know that there's one like right here. Okay, got one. Let's look around for another mirror. Where is that last mirror? I'm always full on springs. Here we go. All right, we got two mirrors. Time to replicate the ceremony. Summon Granny Weaver. And we're gonna have ourselves a little chat. Boom. Boom. But oh, whoa. Oh, that's kind of a pace breaking loading screen. Here we go. There she is. Ooh, fun. Oh, 
Oh, this is like, this is like a for real fight. Fun. Oh my God, okay, okay, okay. All right, let's go. Don't no, stay away from me, Granny Weaver. Okay, we need to keep moving. Got her. Oh, okay, that's not that bad. That's not that bad. Got her. Nice. Fun. More of those fights, please. Okay, hang on. Get, get over it. All right. Wow, she left like a physical body behind. When's she gonna melt? There she is. I'm melting. So what I'm a little confused about with all this, right? The witch is dead, ding dong. But I'm a little confused about this ceremonial dagger that we found in that like back alley. Well, cause I thought that might have something to do with this. I don't know, maybe we're not done with it yet? Found the old hag's lair and summoned her. I was set upon, the witch damn near killed me. No, she didn't. What? Charlie, were you even there? Did we see the same thing? Come on. In the end, I managed to defeat her. She won't threaten Joy anymore, and Oakmon is safe from her for at least the next 100 years. I mean, you'd think so. Okay, so now we gotta go, uh... I guess tell Joy that she's safe now. Maybe she can unsew her mouth. That'd be the first thing I would do. Guess what, Joy? Great news. Thanks, Joy, you've no reason to be scared now. It's gone. At least for the next hundred years. Sure? Absolutely. Thank Kay. I owe you. Take this. Gratitude. But keep this a secret. Why? Yeah, your mouth is still stitched. You're safe now. I figured that oh, no, she used it, to it all now? being over, you could speak freely. Is something still wrong? All is well. Thank you again. I, I'm confused. Why don't you unstitch your mouth then? Current punishment. Two years left. No matter. Need to serve the sentence full. How come? Sewing someone's mouth shut is sick enough, but keeping it? When Granny's gone? You're not from Oakmont. Can't understand. Okay. Okay. Just as you say, I guess. That's disappointing. Bye, Joy. Well, you know, I'm glad we helped her. I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. That was a cool little fight with Granny Weaver. I, I enjoyed that. Do you have any skills? Oh my god, we got four knowledge points. You can waste two upgrades on traps if you want. Oh boy. Oh, well one of them is 100% damage increase, so that's nothing to sneeze at, I guess. <laughs> Clean the streets with wider shotgun spread and improved damage. Clean the streets? <laughs> what are you gonna be doing with this shotgun? All right, uh, let's get some of these uh, ammo upgrades for the shotgun and the revolver. I'd like to be able to carry more for that. Yeah, carry one more first aid kit and antipsychotic, I'll take that. Okay, one more grenade and firebomb, I'll take that too. Where did they call it a firebomb there when it's called a Molotov? Uh, but whatever. Okay, I think that's gonna do it up for this episode of The Sinking City. We'll get back with Deal with the Devil in the next episode. We'll track down Billy Drunnan and see what he's up to. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Let me know in the comments if you are, and I'll see you in the next video. Think critically.